So for hotels investors right now, we still see most of our institutional investors focused on being part of a, a brand. However, we, we do have a number of clients that, that balance their portfolio by having independent brands. And then of course there's been a big growth of kind of like soft brands and where you see, for example, Marriott's autograph collection or Starwood's luxury collection. Of course now that's part of Marriott. Uh, and there's a number of these. Hilton has rolled out a number, Curio, Canopy. And, and those soft brands get you into the reservation system, it gets you into the loyalty programs, but you still keep maybe the cool, uh, unique name you have with your hotel, you have a little bit different edge, it's not just the Marriott or the Westin or traditional Hyatt that you might find in any major city, it has a little bit more of a unique element to the hotel. If I was investing money today, I would really be driven by the market. When you have the, a market that is saturated with the 30 plus brands of, of Marriott, you may look at it and say, how am I going to differentiate myself from all these other hotels in this market? So the independent model might be very, very attractive. However, then you might be losing out on a very large customer base that is loyal to Marriott, wants those points, and you're not going to be tapped into that reservation system. So I guess as with everything, I'm, it's going to be very uh, specific to the assets, specific to the market, and to what the competition looks like. I mean, as far as you know, President Trump's America first type of uh, approach and mentality, I don't think that's going to have a big impact on the appetite that foreign investors have for U.S. hotels. I think there has been a huge increase in foreign investment in, in hotels in the last five years, and that trend is going to continue. Whether it's the same uh, in investor base, where we've seen a big increase by Chinese in the last three to five years, uh, I, it's still unclear whether Chinese monetary policy or other factors would move the Chinese investors out of the U.S., but that void will be likely filled by another group of foreign investors, whether it's from the Middle East, the Nordics, maybe from Korea, from Singapore. I, I expect to see foreign investment hotels remain quite high. You know, one way that the Trump presidency really could have an impact on the hotel industry that it's still very difficult to predict is what his immigration policies will mean for hotels that often rely on uh, immigrants to staff and, and to run their hotels. And if it's going to be more difficult to, uh, to recruit, train, and retain employees because of immigration policies, it be, could become a very difficult environment for owners and operators.